All right, hey friends, it's uh, my week five report on my weight loss journey. Uh, last week I started at 261.6 and the goal was to lose a pound. The way I was going to do that was maintaining the things that I set up the previous several weeks. And then I was going to go to our turn off all technology at 930 and try to get more sleep this week and really focus on improving my sleep. So... Um, Last week did definitely not go according to plan. We did some traveling over the weekend. And so as far as like, I guess I I still didn't eat a ton of sugar, but I did have desserts on two or three days. Um, I had breakfast on two days. Normally I try to do that um, with no breakfast with intermittent fasting. And, but I, I, and then I had snacks on Saturday, so not as great a week on my diet. Um, but I did keep up with running. It was actually an active vacation. We went uh, hiking and looking for rocks. And then I actually did some hiking throughout the week as well. And now that we've started the new week, in addition to running uh, today, I've already gone running. And then I also played ultimate Frisbee with my sons. And so I've gotten a little more exercise. And so you would expect to have actually to have the weight go up quite a bit this week with the cheats that I had. But um, luckily, because I did more exercising and because I was pretty disciplined with my diet 80, 90 percent of the time, um, I actually pretty much stayed even. So I ended the week at 260 even 262 even rather. So I gained like half a pound, but um, I'm okay with that. Um, it didn't get me where I wanted to be, but all things considered, I feel like it was pretty good. Now, the thing that um, was a little concerning to me is I realized I have a race coming up with my kids where we want to run a half marathon together. And at this size, it's going to be really hard to go sub two hours on a half marathon. And that's what my daughter's goal was. And I really want to be able to hit that. And so for my goal for this next week, it has to do with that. But let me actually talk about sleep for a minute. Um, I wanted to do some experiments. Last week, I explained how I'm trying to improve my sleep. And one thing that I did do this week is I, I met that one goal. I turned off technology at 930 every night, uh, even on vacation. And the result was I went to bed earlier most nights. And then in the morning, I tried to force myself to go back to sleep. I'm not very, very good at that normally. When I wake up, even if it's two or three in the morning, once I'm up, I'm up and I get to work. But I thought, let's try really hard to sleep instead of averaging five or six hours a night. Let's try to average more than that. And so I forced myself go back to go back to sleep every night. And I don't feel like it was the best sleep. In fact, I still felt grog in the morning. I don't feel like it changed the quality of my life at all. Uh, but it was an interesting experiment. I, I did go back to bed almost every morning until like 6 or 6.30. And there were a lot of days I, I track my sleep on my app. And instead of five to six hours a night, I was getting seven to eight hours of sleep every night for a week. Now, I don't feel any different. I don't feel like it was a huge benefit to me. And I was missing out on those early morning hours where I'm super, super productive. So I don't think I'm going to maintain this schedule. But it was good to see that I can fall back to sleep if I really try. And so maybe on the weekends, I'll continue trying to do that. And I do feel like there were some benefits of turning technology off earlier and going to bed um, a little bit earlier. So I don't know if I'm going to continue that every night. But I think at least several nights a week, my goal will be to turn it off. Um, I started reading a book at night, and that's how I would settle in for the night. And and again, I don't feel like it helped me sleep any better. Um, but I don't know. I, I should give it some more time. So that's how I feel about that. For this week, my goal is, so I want to get back to my diet goals. I want to be really disciplined with only eating meals, no snacks, no added sugar, uh, and intermittent fasting every day. And I think that I can do that. I, I don't want to have any cheat days. I, I want to get to the point where I'm actually dropping some weight so that I can do well on this race. Uh, my goal for this week was actually to set up a training schedule that included both weight as and as well as workouts, which is for me, it's going to be running mileage and pace. And some days will be speed workouts. Other days will be rest slow days. Um, but I went ahead and I already did that. So I have my training schedule. It's a four week training schedule. 
and it has me going from 262 this week to 259. So I'm going to drop, I'm going to try to drop three pounds every week uh, for four weeks. So I drop 12 pounds total, get from 262 down to 250 for the race. And I feel that 12 pounds difference is actually going to make a difference. That alone, even if I wasn't getting stronger or faster, that alone is going to help me drop 10 to 15 minutes from my half marathon pace. I think right now, if I ran a half marathon today, I'd be right around 225. And so just dropping the weight is going to get me close to that two hour mark. But then I've intentionally designed a few speed workouts to continue to drop my pace. And I think that um, goal of hitting two hours in for a 13 mile race, I think that's doable. Um, so I'm going to really push and, and I have my two older kids are both going to run it with me. So that's great incentive to work hard for four weeks, but then to also do my best in the race. So that's my goal for this week. So my weight loss goal will be to drop from 262 down to 259 even. Uh, to lose three pounds this week. And I'm going to have to be disciplined if I want to hit that. So I'm going to have to work hard. So that's the goal for this week. Thanks. Bye.